Ten Basketball Tournament on Big Ten Network is presented by TIAA. And here we go. What a matchup to start our day. Quarter final Friday, one of the best days in all of March. Michigan State, Purdue, Wisconsin, Northwestern, Ohio State, Illinois, and Indy. And Tyson Walker along with Jaden Akins up front for Zach Eady, of course. All the accolades, but Braden Smith certainly deserves his fair share. You gotta see it to believe it. And you gotta speak it into existence. And the way that they play throughout the season, they saw now Smith. Smith turning the corner, accelerating to the rim. Edie there to clean it up. Both ended up on the floor, and Edie's at the rim. Walker, quick three in the corner, and the Spartans as they are. Under 10 on the shot clock. Lawyer pulls up with Edie in front, and he hits the two. End up early. <laughs> Do you have a better son? But average. Congratulations on the honorable mention. All Big Ten for him. Around that Kaufman red screen. Here's Edie. Working against Carson Cooper. Such a tough cover. One on a beat in position without fouling. And sometimes he'll, he'll give up a bucket because he knows his presence is so much more important. All using that rim foul trouble. Well, he calls a big key to whatever Michigan State's going to do in this postseason. Not only here, but in the NCAA tournament. Edie muscles that one through. This game 32 for Purdue this year. Zach, he's for 413 free throws. Nobody in Purdue history. Statistically, impact-wise, uh, he's just been phenomenal. And I think he's so good, Kevin, that sometimes we take it for granted. Oh, I don't think that. Smith. Dropping it off to Edie. Walker swarming inside. They're going to count that. And the three-point play converted, and already Edie with got that really good size on Walker, but Walker's got that quickness. Oh, Walker got caught in the air, tried to dump it down low, and then in the scramble gets it back, and Kohler with the tip. And a guy that can space the floor. Boyer had it taken away. Good hands from Trey Holloman. This is as aggressive as I've ever seen Fletcher Lloyd. Offensive, a favorable matchup that I thought. Sissoko's not much of a close scorer, but you got to give an opportunity every now and then. Oh, flashing in front to try to steal it. Beat. You have a talent like Zach Eady, keep it simple. Let the big fella eat. On the drive, trying to throw it down, Xavier Booker. But Booker unable to convert just a little. Taking a while for him to get into what Tom Izzo is expecting, getting his body. Yeah, they were throwing out early comparisons to Jaron Jackson when he got here. That's far to live up to. Great point. Oh, what a shot from Lance Jones. Solomon and Hogarth, 35 points on 13 to 15 shooting yesterday. 0 for 8 so far today. You see Hogarth back in the game. That's a beautiful feed. And a finish. I'm, I'm glad to see Malik Paul starting to be a little bit more consistent. Like to get their veteran guards back in the game despite a 2 foul. Solomon on the push. Here's Walker in transition. The three falls. That's how they started the team. The please, getting the Michigan State faithful on their feet over on the side. Morton from the foul line. Ethan Morton. A red cap by Edie, but into the hands of Walker. Quickly ahead to Holloman. Back it goes to Walker. Toe in the line for a three. Tipped up and in by Trey Holloman. Here. Back in the Twin Cities. Mason Gillis, oh, a bullet inside to Braden Smith. What a catch. Hogard driving inside. Edie says, I don't think so. Hall tries with a left hand. Kill it. And the free throw is good. Remember when these two teams. And wants to see a similar effort. Well, you're seeing some effort right now. A couple of tips away. Jones on the drive. Right at Kohler. Count the bucket. And a three-point play completed by Lance Jones. This is open here as Edie finds him. Triple team. Colvin with the shot fake. And the two falls. Uh, at the line, just a 54% shooter this year, but the front end is good. He was fouled. him on the perimeter. He's got that first step in that explosion. Be dangerous. His toughness, that's a sign of toughness. And in a game like this, with you don't have a lot of margin for error, you got to take advantage of it. Nice fight. Hold it with the hand. Lance Jones is trying to get cooked. He's trying to get downhill, but Holland doing a good job cutting off his path. And Edie.
fouled inside. Anticipating the double on Ethan. A foul on Carson Cooper, his first. That Matt Painter and Tom Izzo can throw at you. And the plays, depending on how get aggressive. He looked up and saw Edie and said, not that aggressive. <laughs> Smart man. Cooper with the catch and the finish. Cole finding ways, creative ways to score and maintain pace with the Boilers. Double team closes on Edie. He gets rid of it to Colvin and Walker. Now we saw this got injured a little earlier in the Big Ten slate, but that's still a very capable ball club. One more for Trey Holland. Not picking up any more fouls so that we can cut loose in the second half. Five with a little head and shoulder fake. A minute to go, first half. Edie, one on one against Cooper, and that's too easy for Edie. And you know what? Two of three from three. And just one of seven from two. Edie, much better percentage from two. Did a great picking up that third either. Just still aggressive. Jones turning the corner against Hogarth. What ball movement to find Braden Smith for three. And now Lance Jones to work. In a scramble. Smith from the elbow. An air ball out of bite the fact that they missed two out of three. He was mad at the shots that they didn't take. Said several of his players have to be more aggressive, especially Jaden Akins and AJ. And, and his team members. So Jay Dakins needs that. He needs that confidence from his coach. Craig Kaufman ran, trying to dislodge Malik Hall. Just gave him nice pacing on that offense. Oh, Hall with the swap. Batted out to Walker. Jumped it over for the two to Jaden Akins. Predict that Zach Eady will get his 62nd career double double today. He's got 19 points and nine rebounds. He has 21 points and nine rebounds. Keep it alive. Martins needs some offense here. Who will provide it? Hogarth from the elbow. Can't get it to go, but there's Kohler. Nice offensive read. Can stay on the floor with those three fouls already. Good post defense there by Kohler. Quick attack to the other end, and there's Aikens for two. Back it goes to Jones. The open three is short. Smith with the offensive rebound. Here's Gillis for three. One of the aspect three. This is your second in the country shooting the three. You want to know why Purdue has a better chance to win it all this year? That's why. Snapping the twine is Trey Holliman. Smith. Inside Edie and the foul before the shot. Or Smith. And then pins his opponent. Heidi looping to the rim with a finger roll. That was nice. Spin around to another Minnesotan, Trey Holloman. Around the Sissoko screen. Driving inside. Count it. And the foul. And it's a seven-point game. 48. His lips. Serenity now. Serenity now. Smith driving inside. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And Smith. Uh-oh. That's not good. I mean, they could get some medical help over to him, don't you think? Intended to. Holding that right leg. The Boilermaker point guard. After the turnover by Smith. Hogard lobbing to Sissoko behind Edie for the two-hand flush. Tried to walk off the injury. The good news, he was actually walking on his own power, unaided. The bad news, he was unable to walk well enough to defend him. Trying to root him out of his spot. Entry to Edie. Back it goes. Gillis in the corner for three. And there, goes behind Zach Eady. Bodies on the floor in front of Zach Eady. And a foul on Trey Holloman. And now, Holloman and Eady. And Eady good at the line. Job, I'd say. And Eady missing the second free throw to Hardy Clay. Hogard around the screen on the drive. First, that'll be a goal tag. I mean. <laughs> Hogard trying to find room against Jones. The whole position just didn't finish. Martin's just 37% from the floor. Purdue at 40%. Edie able to get that one to die and fall seven. Just one for their last 11 on the offensive end. So they need a stop and then they need some shots. 
And we've got a whistle on a foul as six of ten at the line today. One more. Seven for the state might be able to flip that matchup if he had remained in the game. There's Hogarth. In the corner, the three, up and down. What a shot for Titan. Smith back to Gillis. Pop and Red trying to go baseline against Malik Hall, and that's a foul on three. Tomorrow, the 2020. With those foul numbers. No. That's Hogard. Going to work inside Walker. Got the roll. Walker, shot clock at six. Inside, offensive foul. Foster the lawyer. Zach Eady in help position. Drops it to Cooper with the stop. Purdue wanting us to be involved in the game. A game that is now tied at 56. This, this is a program victory if they can snatch this one away from Purdue. Lawyer, just a minute ago laying on top of us. Gillis, inside Edie, turns to the rim for two. Way down. Four guards and a forward on the floor for the Spartans trying to pressure Purdue here. The game they played was a loss to a 16 seed. Yes, and, and most of the people in America remember that instead of the work that they've done all season long. Lance Jr. is fatigued. I mean, anytime the broadcasters are involved in the fantastic first day, first game of the day. Two possession game now. Hands off to Hall. Malik Hall gets inside for the two hand flush, and Tom Izzo will use his final timeout in a two point game. Great time. Seven of 12 today, and he hits the first. What a two for two. Four point game again. And it's still a four point game. It's the second, it's five, 65. Guard will hustle it up the floor. Hogard all the way to the rim. Three point game. Michigan State will try to foul one. Lawyer inbound to Gillis, fouled immediately. An 85% shooter will go. It has been. And again, a two possession game. Five point game. 67 seconds. Hogard with one second. The layup will it count? It will. But Purdue has enough. Number one seed. The defending tournament champs advance to the toughness down the stretch. Able to step up and knock down critical free throws and get the needed defensive stops. But no shade at all towards Michigan State. This should be how they showed up against a probable number one seed in the tournament. Wisconsin and Northwestern coming up next. They'll play Purdue, the winner of that game, on Saturday. Ohio's